Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. In this case I hate being right. Why? Because my predictions came true uh, and uh, the predictions are not uh, good ones for us, for all of us. And the predictions that I made so many times and I spoke about um, you know, are related to, to my uh, mountain slope model where I said that uh, the sponsors of uh, Ukraine started slowly, you know, with ja Javanils, uh, Howizers, uh, High Mars, short range, and then they, they got to armored vehicles, tanks, now uh, we're gonna have um, fighter jets, and the pinnacle right here is long range missiles. That's what they're gonna get in the latest US aid package that they will send 2.2 billion dollars from I don't know, they just pull money out of their accounts with nothing, just put a number and then they send it and we're gonna have to make up for that. So anyway, I hate when I said this, that they will get to the point where they're gonna send everything and I laid it down or laid it out, whatever is gonna be. They will not and there's not gonna be any talk, a serious talk about providing submarines to uh, Ukraine because they're not viable or feasible. They will not provide um, I don't know, really warships for the Black Sea. They provided provide a little boat for uh, the Dnieper River. Uh, they will not provide nuclear weapons and they will not provide <clears throat> upfront military personnel, troops on the ground. I suspect that they will provide under a euphemistic term. There's not gonna be troops on the ground NATO troops enter Ukraine to fight the Russians, not like that. It's going to be a weasel way, which is going to be some 1,000 uh, NATO uh, helping mission or humanitarian mission, um, peacekeeping mission is in Ukraine, in the western Ukraine and helps uh, unloading trucks with food and that's what's going to be. Well, when in reality probably it's going to be, I don't know, 10,000 uh, military choo -choo -choo ready. But we will never know about that. Uh, we will never know now, but we want to know in 10 or 15 or 20 years when we will be allowed to know. Uh, until then, we're just going to uh, keep our badges of, uh, uh, how do you call that, um, morality and uh, virtuosity, because we are all virtuous. So, uh, by doing what we're doing. Let's read this beautiful article here that confirms what I've been saying. So... Uh, I can put a little medal of uh, intelligence on my ass. So, new voice of Ukraine reports on January 31st, 2023. Upcoming package of US military aid to Ukraine will include long range munitions. Reuters reports. They don't have to send the system because the systems are already there. They're just gonna send a different kind of missile that has the ability to fly longer. That's all. Now, this is the leader of the free world right here. Those eyes do not know where the head is. Okay, let's move on. The United States is preparing to announce another security assistance package for Ukraine. Now, this is a euphemism over there, security assistance package, you know. Uh, no, guns to kill people. Let's put it this way because that's what it is. Uh, deadly weapons. I know, but they don't want to scare the weasels, you know. We have uh, some um, uh, lemmings here in the society, a lot of them, and they are just, uh, they don't want to be waken up from their little beer, football games, and stupid television shows. So, worth this package, this security assistance package for Ukraine is worth $2.2 billion. I'm pretty sure they don't have the money to, for instance, um, take care of the roads in certain kind of areas or, I don't know, take care of some schools, dilapidated or hospitals in the United States of America because we have everything golden, which will include this little uh, assistance package, which will include long-range high-precision munitions, Reuters reported today on January 31st. Based on previous reports, the new weapon type is likely going to be ground-launched small diameter bomb GLSDB rockets for HIMARS rocket artillery systems, enabling HIMARS to strike targets 
150 kilometers away. That's about 90 miles. You can say, well, that's BS. Well, I think it's longer than the initial 80 kilometers. So it's uh, almost double. So um, you would like a uh, income increase of uh, double, right? Let's say you make $20 an hour and tomorrow your boss decides, decides to give you $40 an hour. So the, for the people who think that 150 kilometers is nothing compared with uh, what was before, I would put it in that kind of perspective. All right, so, or imagine that instead of living, uh, I don't know, 80 years, you're gonna live 160 years. Eh? Doesn't that make it sound fantastic all of a sudden? A big, big, big increase? Yes, it does. Or let's say from uh, your two weeks of a vacation that you get in the United States, if you're lucky, when you start a job, you get a month starting. Huh? Huh? Again, see? Double how it changes the whole perception of this. Yeah, that's a lot of kilometers over there. US funded Radio Liberty also reports that US President Joe Biden will soon discuss Western weapons supplies to Ukraine with President Volodymyr Zelensky. And this is what uh, Biden said, we're going to talk <laughs> like a mafia boss. On January 30th, Biden told journalists the United States will not supply Ukraine with F-16 fighter jets. Don't believe anything that comes from a politician's mouth, all right? And believe me, they said they will not give Ukraine tanks, if you remember. No, that's out of the question. They said they were not going to send uh, missile systems to Ukraine. That was out of the question. No tanks, no, as I said. No uh, uh, motorized uh, vehicles, how do you call those? Uh, heavy vehicles. How is there? So all those things were like, nah, 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 I don't know. We're going to escalate the conflict. You know, anyway, Ukrainian Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov subsequently pointed out that supplying every other major type of heavy military equipment like HIMARS and main battle tanks also was initially ruled out by Kiev's partners. Over there is patterns. Partners, yes, good job, Reznikov suggesting that F-16s could eventually be made available to Ukraine. So he argues from the historical uh, uh, angle, like you did this before, that means you will do it again. So yes, you said many times that you will not do that, and you did it. So what stops you now? Well, my boy, uh, it's a difference between giving you a cartridge versus a missile. You know, it's true that I said I will not send you the cartridge, and I did, I changed my mind because I said, well, maybe there's not going to be too much. But I think that compared with, an, let's say, F-15 or F-16, I think it's a big difference. So you can't just say like, okay, uh, I, you know, Gigi, I'm not going to give you a dollar. And then I said, what the hell, Gigi's in need. I'm going to give him a dollar. Huh? Yeah, I'll give him, give him a dollar. And then Gigi comes back and says, well, why don't you give me a, a million? I say, well, I'm not going to give you a million. And he's going to say, well, you said you're not going to give me a dollar and you gave me a dollar. Therefore, you, you said you're not going to give me a million, but you're going to give me a million. Is that how you argue? This is the, this is the uh, argument Reznikov makes. Remember, Reznikov is not an idiot. If you look in, into his uh, bio, I think he's a, or used to be a professor or something, or has a PhD, or he's an educated person. Now, I don't know in what exactly he's educated, in plants or something like that, but he's not an idiot. He's just a weasel and a sneaky guy, but hey, that's a different story, you know? So he argues like that, and all the weasels will be, oh, yeah, 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 that's true, that's true, yeah, yeah, it's true. We, we said we're not going to give them, but then we change our mind, so I guess we can do it again. Put it in a different perspective again, and you're going to realize how stupid that argument is. That's a, a historical fallacy. When you say, well, we always did it like this, why should we change now? Or we never did it like this, why should we do it here? So this is kind of like that, you know. Uh, we did it before, therefore we're going to do it again. Uh, well, it, it matters the context and it matters what we are talking about. One dollar versus one million dollars is a big difference, isn't it? So anyway... Hey, okay, you got it. Long range uh, missiles, mi missiles. And I suspect that uh, it's going to be again 
not only 150, it probably is going to be longer and longer. But the Ukrainians already had, you know, uh, some, uh, they say they call them drones with uh, jet engine operated, uh, you know, the ones that hit the airfield angles, airfield, what, like seven, 700 kilometers inside Russia. I don't know how many they have left, but uh, if you can get these idiots to give you high marks, why not? <laughs> Give them a man. I'm not going to say no. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.